The state does not hold veterinarians accountable when animal abuse claims are made against them. Today, she addressed lawmakers requesting they change the law. It's an update to a new two investigation. Calipers Andy Ferrati is following this story. Andy has the very latest. Good evening. Carolyn, right now, local law enforcement cannot arrest your pet's vet if you see animal abuse in the clinic. One woman wants to change that. Marsha Rosenberg is fighting a familiar uphill battle. Can I just leave a message that I will be back? My pleasant animal advocate wants lawmakers to pass a bill that looks out for those who can't speak for themselves. Your pets. This legislation is designed to stop behaviors such as kicking, punching. Wednesday morning, she asked the House subcommittee for their support. Today, only the state's veterinary board disciplines vets for animal abuse. Rosenberg wants law enforcement to have the opportunity to charge vets with the crime. I watched him, I watched him beat a sedated cat to death. Tony Zotis, a former vet tech at the Fowler Road Animal Clinic in 2000, she claims she saw its owner, Dr. Thomas Sheridan, abuse a cat. Deputies arrested Sheridan, but charges were dropped because veterinarians are exempt from animal abuse charges. I know of cases where people have seen it happen and they're too afraid to come forward to do anything about it. But not everyone agrees with Rosenberg's ideas. Supporters of the Veterinarian Association said the State House needs to focus on setting standards and not changing the law. I'm not saying this is a bad bill. Um, I am saying we would feel a lot better if we were a little more sure what uh, accepted veterinary practice standards exactly meant. The State's Veterinary Association says the state doesn't have practicing veterinary standards. Some argue animal care procedures may appear abusive to some while accepted by others. Rosenberg says that's not a good excuse and will continue to take on the state house until pets and their owners are protected. Rosenberg is also responsible for allowing the public to attend vet board discipline hearings. It took about five years for that to happen. She hopes this bill will move much faster. Carolyn, back to you. Okay, thank you, Andy. Representative Ben Hagelin is sponsoring the bill. State Attorney General Henry McMaster supports the proposed law, but his office still wants to look at defining veterinary standard practices first. Tonight.